Hello friends, this is Ella, your friendly advisor in Ireland. Welcome back to my channel, All About Ireland. In this video, I'm going to talk about the technology jobs and salaries in 2023. Uh, this would be an indicator of what salaries you are going to receive. I'll also be talking about what's the source. Uh, in this video, you also have uh, a promo code from careerland.com to save, save money on a few of the packages that they have. For example, if you use LR50, you get 50 euros off on critical skills permits and STAM 1G permits extensions. And you, if you use LR30, you get 30 euros off on all the CV packages. I'll put the link to the website in the video description. Do use these vouchers. Also share this video and the voucher codes with your friends so that they can benefit from the you know discounts. The other thing is Career Island is releasing a new business analyst certification wherein you learn a lot about business analyst actual roles and you get practical experience through real life projects and business analysts in Ireland again we'll be talking about salaries in some time but they earn usually up to 75k a year and it's one of the hard courses during the course you also learn murals little sequel excel um, jira confluence even ms projects and i think if you are one of those guys who wants to, you know, become a business analyst, this is something you need to try. Um, for, and, you know, for more information, you can talk, call this number or WhatsApp this number and you can also write to connect at careerland.com. Yeah, I wish you do. And without further ado, let's just jump into the salaries that you can expect in 2023. In technology 2023, uh, you should see the few titles there. These are again full time uh, salaries for full time roles. Uh, head of IT or IT director can expect something from 1200K, uh, 120K to 160K. If it is IT manager, 90K to 120K. If you're working on the product then, the salaries are very similar to project and program management. I mean, a bit on higher end though. The head of product or product director will get 125 to 160K. Product manager 90 to 105. Again, depends upon which company you work for, but that's the average. The product owner 70 to 90K. Agile uh, coach, uh, you know, if you see everything around product, they're very close to 100K. So you can demand based on your experience, you can demand for 100K within that segment. Uh, whereas in project and program management, uh, program managers, senior product managers, product managers, they can expect anything around 100K. Uh, if you are a Product administrator, PMO analyst, you, you can expect between 50 to 65K. The thing is, even if you are a product administrator, you can move on, move up the ranks and can become project manager. It, within analytics, you have uh, different kinds of analytical roles, right? Again, data scientists to data analysts to data architects, and then you also have a few business analysts. So if you are if you are a business data analyst, you can expect salaries from 50 to 65K. Um, and you know, data governance and all, you know, these roles, you, you will be working with data, but the salaries are not as much as the data analyst or data engineer types. Like, for example, within data analysis, you can expect 50 to 60K just like the business analyst. But if you move up to machine learning or data engineering, you can expect salaries upwards of 90K. Data scientist is the hottest role within analytics segment. But again, if you become head of data, data science within your firm you, you can expect 160k like the, the like the roles which i told you in the previous slide within software engineering software engineering is where uh, we have a lot of non-europeans working in and if you see on the slide you have the salaries for different titles uh, a lot of people i know uh, with any of tenures of experience they usually talk target either technical lead technical architect or software engineering manager roles these roles, and if you see the average is around 120, 125. If you're one of those guys, you know, that's the amount you should ask for. And um, if you within UI, UI salaries are good, Java developer, C++ developer. Uh, if you have 10 years, of, 10 years of experience, you know, 100K would be something I would be asking. Same thing with Android, you know, Python. These are all hard jobs. And the market is, the market is, you know, crying for these people to be available so that they can you know have them in their team if it comes to mid you know the beginner mid and senior uh this is what these slides tell you know you go from 50k to 75k to 100k 
And if you are more than that, like architect and all, you go 125K. So for every senior role or every three years, you, you should ask for 25K uh, of salary. Again, uh, the entry-level role salary in most of the companies is 40 to 45K. Uh, but if 10 years of experience, if you're earning less than 100K, it means that you need to move. Even QA, the salaries are good. Uh, like QA test manager, 80 to 110. I know most of them earn around 90 and 100. That's a good salary. Again, these are the salaries for 2023, not for 2022. But even in 2022, I know people who, earn, who are earning this level of salaries. I wouldn't expect the salaries to change drastically in the next year. But again, the salary component depends upon how urgent the company requires. Uh, how when are you available and how quickly you will join the team uh, one thing which i found out and I mean, from my own experiences the recruitment life cycle of most of the firms has come down to two weeks earlier they used to take one month two months to you know recruit a guy now from the point they post job description to the point they recruit the guy they're just taking two weeks so the the market is very fast now, if you move to the technical support and administration, even SAP uh, salaries, SAP salaries are good, uh, but most of the firms that recruit SAP or Microsoft, SAP, there are a few manufacturing firms, Apple also hires a few people, right? So if you want to, if you're an SAP consultant, that's another thing that you can look at. The salaries are great. You also have travel opportunities to the client locations. Within technical support, the cloud is very hard. DevOps is very hard. And the other ones, you know, you can expect a salary around 50 to 60K for experience, mid-senior experienced candidate. But again, the number of jobs in, I, jobs in IT support are like crazy. And that would be one of the things you should target. Cyber and uh, information security. This is one of those roles where we don't find uh, a lot of non-use, but there are uh, people here. Uh, again, if you see from bottom to up, based on your experience, you can expect 80 uh, 80 on an average. The other thing is, uh, in 2022, the average IT salaries, uh, you know, the average number is 73k across all the roles across all the industries. So, uh, and it is the highest average earning group across all the job roles in the market. I, I can only see that growing, given that uh, the distant transformation, digitization is happening across all the industries and sectors. So, yeah, if you are in this space, information security architect is where, you know, you, you get the highest salary. Network security architect is where you get the highest salary. So, target these kind of roles if you want to, you know, if you're working in cyber and information, information security for higher salaries. Now, what we spoke about was full-time employees till now. Now, getting into IT contract, I'll be repeating the same thing for contract. The thing, the way the contract works is it works per day, basis and if you are going through an agency there's an agency fees too so the 650 on this slide may not be 650 it can be 620 there are also few accounting things and you know you need to be on stamp four at least to you know do contracting on a daily basis i mean you can you can contract on stamp 1g and all but uh on a student stamp 1g you will be targeting for uh you know the critical skills, whereas for STEM 1G, they can earn daily salary. So that's that's not a problem. Now, within this space, again, higher the role, higher the uh, per day um, income. And across all the roles, what I found out is the program manager and CDM product manager are very hot in IT contracting. You know, the developers are also hard, but within these two uh, are some of the roles which uh, are many in the market and very hot. And some of these roles keep rolling every 12 months too. Uh, product, product uh, one, one, thing, one thing I found out is among within product, there are fewer contract roles because they would want someone in-house to manage products. But whereas projects, they're very happy to outsource it or get some contractor. Even Scrum Master, Agile Coach, they earn 700s uh, per daily. Uh, product manager, mid-level. When I say mid-level, you know, your overall experience is 7, 8 years, you get 550. But at any year, product manager, he would be earning around 750 per day. Uh, same thing. Business analysts earn a lot of money primarily because they are responsible for a lot of documentation, uh, facilitation, customer requirement gathering and stuff. So that's one. Business analysis is the hottest, one of the hottest IT contract roles. And within QA, you have good, decent uh, you know, QA roles, but again, uh, they would probably choose someone internally for development and product management. 
within sorry you know seniors of the development that is again software development the daily uh, rates are high but again it's more experience more knowledge more money again if you see at mid level the uh, contract money is not that great and within senior level they would want someone to come and architect their entire product and then leave so the uh, they may not be rolling contracts in these positions as i said the product and design the 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 money is less even in data space the money is less because in the interview software and all they try to hire uh, a permanent employee or they contract huge chunk of work to companies like tcs wipro and infosys ERP systems, SAP or Oracle, that's that's hot. Oracle business consultant, I was a functional consultant five years at Deloitte. Uh, there are not many consulting opportunities in within this space, but SAP they are. So look at the, uh, I mean, again, this is another space where there's good money. Uh, that's from many, many decades. ERP sector has a lot of good contracts and high paying contract money. And again, if you come to security information system, the architects earn a lot of money within this space. Same thing like IT jobs. So you need to be uh, highly knowledgeable. You need to know the latest tech. And you also need to know how to implement it. Then, yeah, it makes sense for you to contract and earn more money. Uh, within IT support, the money is less. And uh, a lot of uh, people who come out of college here, non-EU, they get into IT support role for knowledge. And they, they do earn this money. But again, um, some of those roles don't fall under critical skills. Yeah, that is uh, that is all about the jobs and salaries in 2023. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want a slide, just write to me. I will share it with you. Thank you. Do follow, subscribe, and share my videos.